the topic for today's presentation is an anterior chest swelling which was proved to be a biphysic malignant mesothelioma the author is dr sanash of khan and co-author is dr zilani alam uh, uh, from cgs medical college and km hospital the aim of this presentation is to determine the approach of chest wall tumors on img in uh, tumors of the chest wall are varied they can be benign or malignant and they can arise from the rib cage or from the soft tissue uh so in this case a 50 year old man presented uh with a swelling on the anterior chest wall on the right side since one year he was a grocery shopkeeper by occupation on examination the swelling was round firm non fluctuant and immobile so a frontal chest radiograph was performed in this patient which showed a well defined soft tissue opacity in upper and middle zones of right lung field making an acute angle with lateral chest wall lateral wall of the region cannot be demonstrated there is another soft tissue opacity in the right supraclavicular region above medial one third of clavicle an ultrasound was performed for this uh, uh, region for as the swelling was superficial so the ultrasonogram shows a well defined bilobulated homogeneous hypoechoic mass traversing the intercostal space Uh, with a small superficial extra thoracic component and a relatively large intra thoracic component causing compression of the underlying lung parenchyma uh, the color doppler and the spectral doppler was put and there was minimum minimal internal vascularity seen and uh, contrast enhanced ct scan for this patient was performed which showed and a well defined homogeneously enhancing isodense pleural mass along the anterolateral aspect of the chest wall there was a loss of the extra pleural fat there was no evidence of any uh, rib invasion so uh, the differential diagnosis in this case uh, could be uh, chest wall tumors which arise from uh, any of the components so what are the differentials of any chest wall tumor so they can be bone bony in origin nerve soft tissue vessel or they can be secondary so bone tumors which can arise in the chest wall are uh, benign uh, tumors which include osteochondroma and giant cell tumor and malignant which include osteosarcoma myeloma and chondrosarcoma benign nerve tumors are schwannoma and neurofibroma and malignant nerve tumors are malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor then uh, benign soft tissue tumors are lipoma and spindle cell lipoma and malignant soft tissue tumor is liposarcoma and benign vascular tumors are cavernous hemangioma or glomus tumor and malignant are angiosarcoma cap kaposis sarcoma however these are the primary tumors however the secondary tumors that can uh, uh, be seen in the chest wall are the metastasis chest wall invasion and uh, by intrathoracic malignancy or lymphoma so in in this so in our case there is no fat component thus ruling out lipoma or liposarcoma there is no bony involvement or erosion thus ruling out any bone tumor there is no characteristic vascular intense enhancement thus ruling, ruling out the vascular origin Uh, and the nerve sheath tumors would typically show uh, rub rib erosions or calcification which is not seen in this case so what we are left is the secondary origin of tumors for secondary origin we could think of a lymphoma or a uh, adenocarcinoma of lung but the lung appears pretty normal and the tumor appears extra pleural therefore thus ruling out these two and there is no history of radiation exposure as well so from the radiological differential diagnosis include chest wall invasion by an intrathoracic tumor which could be a lung cancer pleural tumor or a mediastinal tumor or soft tissue metastasis uh, then for this the ultrasound guided biopsy was performed which showed high grade malignant tumor with spindle and epithelioid cell an immunohistochemistry study was also done which uh, in which the cells expressed ae1 ae3 cal retinin and wt1 so uh, these findings were conclusive of malignant biphasic mesothelioma these are, 
this is the histopath picture which shows both lineage of cells that is the epithelioid cells as well as the sarcomatoid cells these are the epithelioid cells which are closely packed and uh, oval to round in shape these are the sarcomatoid cells which are uh, widely spread and spindle in shape uh, this slide is showing the calretinin uh, staining which is positive Pleural malignant mesotheliomas arise from the mesothelial cells of pleura. Approximately 80% are from pleural origin and the rest could be peritoneal. So the important risk factor is asbestosis exposure. Uh, it, though, uh, these tumors can be idiopathic or spontaneous. Uh, the absence uh, There could be a germline alteration in BAP1G. Clinical presentation is usually... Uh, uh, as dyspnea, chest pain, weight loss, or as in our case, chest wall mass. Breathlessness is due to the pleural effusion. Histologically, there are three cell types which can be seen. Uh, one is epithelioid, other is sarcomatoid, another is biphasic. So epithelioid uh, is the most common and is easily treatable. Sarcomatoid is the deadliest type. And biphasic is the one in which both the cell lineages are seen as in our case. So CT features of this uh, mesothelioma is that there is unilateral pleural effusion, nodular pleural thickening can be seen, interlobal septal thickening or pleural based mass lesion can be seen as in our case. Uh, it can be locally aggressive and the signs of uh, that are seen as the invasion of the chest wall, mediastinum and pleura. So the chest wall invasion can be seen on CT as obliteration of extra pleural fat planes invasion of intercostal muscles which is seen in our case and there will be there can be dis displacement of ribs or bone destruction which is uh, fortunately not seen in our case so uh, pulmonary metastasis can also be seen as perilymphatic nodules or masses or uh, lymph nodes then mr is not uh, is uh, superior to ct in ev evaluation of the local invasion and resectability of the tumor uh, the tumor is uh, I saw a slightly hyperintense on T1, moderately hyperintense on T2, and enhances homogeneously on gadolinium study. This is the T stage. So I will tell about the T3 stage, which is seen in our case. It is locally ad advanced but potentially resectable tumor. So at least one of the following will be should be seen to categorize it as T3. So involvement of the endo endothoracic fascia, extension into mediastinal fat, a solitary completely resectable focus of tumor that extends into the soft tissue of the chest wall or a non-transmural involvement of the pericardium. So this a solitary resectable focus of tumor in extending into the soft tissue of the chest wall is seen in our case. Therefore, we uh, uh, classify it as T3. So there were no lymph nodes or distant mets, met were seen uh, uh, in our case. The mets were ruled out by doing a PET CT in this patient and there were no uh, lymph nodes in the thoracic region. So the so prognosis is poor in this, uh, in this case with a median survival time of 12 months. Several factors uh, reduce the survival time they like mets. Uh, extensive pleural involvement etc. The treatment is usually surgery depending on the stage of the tumor. Chemo and radiotherapy can also be given. Thank you.